Hi friends, I hope you are having an inspiring day today. I am back with a little bit of an update to our house situation. Holy macaroni, it is a lot of work to renovate an entire house by yourself, but I feel like we're making a lot of progress and I figured I would check in with you guys again to give you another update. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Mel. Uh, most recently, my boyfriend Dave and I just bought a 107-year-old house here in Toronto, and we are gutting and renovating the entire thing, and I'll be documenting the process, so I hope you'll follow along. If you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the Inspired Family Blue. So first and foremost, I am sitting in my brand new office. Dave and I really wanted to prioritize our offices before anything, just so that we had a clean space to work and somewhere to kind of clear our minds away from the craziness that is renovation. And this is what it looks like right now. So if you guys followed or saw the previous vlog, you'll know that this was all plaster and we actually took down the wall so that we could expose the brick and it was classic brick red, really ugly and it took forever to sand and it was quite the mission. Today I have a Dollarama bag on my head to protect my hair because this is happening and we are going to sand down all of this. After sanding everything down and wearing a plastic bag on my head to cover my hair, we ended up priming and painting the brick wall here all white and I am really happy with the way that it turned out. This is kind of the temporary office setup right now before I get all of my furniture just to give myself somewhere to sit and work. And we also implemented and installed these gray laminate floors. <laughs> I got this new chair in and desk in from Structube and from HomeSense Winners, but nothing is kind of finalized. We still have to do the baseboards, but we also painted my accent wall. I did the painting all myself and I'm pretty proud of the way it went considering I don't do a lot of painting. When we leave my office here, we go across the hall and we see Dave's finished office and we put in the exact same gray laminate as you saw in my office. Dave's office is clearly set up like a man cave. He actually welded these IKEA tables together so that he could create a sort of podcast station and Everything's kind of a bit of a mess right now, as is everything in our house. Uh, but it's actually turned out really well. If you saw my previous video, you'll know that entire back wall there was all of those wooden pieces. So we obviously put up drywall and plastered and sanded and painted it all. And now have a mounted TV finally so that Dave can uh, play his new video games. <laughs> And when we go downstairs, not really much has changed other than the fact that we have gotten rid of our period red carpet. In here, again, nothing else has really changed other than the fact that we have, in our guest room, removed this ceiling. And if you saw the ceiling before, you might have seen a crack in it. That's because the ceiling was literally falling down. So a lot of what we've been doing the last couple of weeks has been a lot of infrastructural work. So what I mean by that is a lot of plumbing and a lot of electricity, especially when the plumbing is really old in your house. But we actually know what the floor plan is going to look like here now. Our vanity is going to go here. The toilet is going to go there. We're going to have a stand-up shower and my freestanding bathtub here. So again, nothing has really changed here. We did the plumbing and the infrastructure for our laundry room, which is going to be here. But this is my freestanding bathtub. And when we go back downstairs to the main floor here, we've done quite a lot of work down here. So you'll see that from my last video, we tore up all of these walls here. But most recently, we actually also tore up the fireplace. So I am in the process of sanding using this HVAC to suck up all the dust and this fancy machine here. Oh my God. 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So you can see the difference here. This is the part that has been sanded, and then this is the part that hasn't been. But one of the biggest things that we did in the last week or so is take up this ceiling. So this ceiling had plaster all around it and it was cracking and it didn't look good. So we exposed it all, took it all down and exposed the joists there. We also rewired everything so that we could put the lights on this wall. And the mug room obviously hasn't changed too much, but we ended up getting our tile in so I can finally show you this is what our first floor is all going to be. I'm so excited because it really does look like marble. Marble is really, really porous, so it stains a lot. So we decided to go with a porcelain marble look tile instead. And they're actually gigantic sheets. They're 24 by 24, which makes the place look a lot more seamless because you'll have less grout lines. So we put up this just to cover up the dust as I'm sanding out that brick. But behind here, not a lot has changed, but actually quite a bit has. We have put up our powder room. This is where our powder room is going to be. It's a really tiny one, but we really wanted to have a bathroom on this the first floor here. A lot of the work that needed to be done was a lot of plumbing, a lot of plumbing, and putting the vent out so that the air conditioning and the heat could actually come out because prior to that, it was down there at the bottom. We've actually bought our vanity for our powder room, so it's going to be this one here, and the matching one for our master bathroom upstairs. The kitchen hasn't really changed too much at all. This is probably the last thing we're gonna do, but I'll take you into my scary basement to show you an update on that. Okay, welcome back to my very scary uh, basement. Uh, this does look really creepy because we were digging up holes not to do anything uh, too scary, I promise. But the reason why we had to dig up the hole was because our powder room actually sits right up top here and it needed plumbing because there wasn't any existing plumbing upstairs. So we had to bring this new plumbing here up. So that is a very quick update on what is new in the house. We've done, I feel like a lot of work, but a lot of it's work that doesn't really show. So a lot of the plumbing and a lot of the electricity. But I'm really excited because things I feel like are finally coming together. And really all we have to do now is put up the walls and put up the finishing and do the floors. Thank you so much to everybody for all of your words of encouragement, telling me that this is gonna be exciting because honestly your excitement makes me excited. And I will make sure to upload another video to give you guys an update as soon as we get some more work done and more of the finishing touches and then we can get to the exciting part like the furnishing and this kitchen here. So thank you so much again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this next episode of our Inspired Home Project. Make sure to like the video if you did like it and you do like this series. Comment below and let me know what you think. Any advice, recommendations, or thoughts on how we should finish the home would be really helpful. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Inspired Family by clicking below. And I hope you have a fantastically inspiring day. I will see you next time. Bye.